Hello, I'm Rob in collaboration with Mile High United Way. In this series, I will show you how to use a computer from the most basic skills to those necessary to start incorporating computer use in your daily life. These videos will also empower you to help your children with their online homework. Sometimes life demands that we transform ourselves and learn a new skill. Technology and computer use can be overwhelming or scary, but these videos are designed for those with little or no experience with computers. Welcome to using a computer with ease. We won't be demonstrating all uses of a computer, only the basics so you can understand the layout of a computer and feel more comfortable using it. In this video, you will learn how to use a computer trackpad to move the cursor and operate your computer. You should think of the trackpad as your connection to the computer so you can control it. It's much like a leash for a dog, reins for a horse, a steering wheel for a car, or a remote control for a television. A computer screen displays a ton of information. Using the trackpad tells your computer exactly how you want to interact with it. To move the cursor with the trackpad, use the tips of your fingers lightly. Computers are capable of recognizing even a very light touch, as if you were drawing in the sand with your finger. Simply move one finger in the direction you want the cursor to move. In order to click, tap the trackpad lightly. Usually you don't have to hear or feel a button clicking. Instead, tap the trackpad just once, as if you were trying to get someone's attention. Don't tap holding on for too long, or the computer either won't interpret a tap or will interpret a different command to highlight text. Tap lightly and briefly. Another kind of tap is with two fingers. It's the same as the last tap, only you will use two fingers instead of one. Tapping like this opens a menu connected to the object you tapped. The menu that opens shows a list of various actions that you can take given the circumstances. For now, you only need to become familiar with the difference between these two types of taps. Sometimes, an icon on the desktop has two levels and requires two types of taps. Icons on the desktop, for example, highlight with a single tap and open with a double tap. While you are getting acquainted with the computer, try using a single tap, and if nothing happens, try again with a double tap. Later, when you are ready to work in an application or software, you will use the scroll function. This is how you move the page up or down. Scrolling is easy. Just drag two fingers in the direction you want the page to move. Be careful, sometimes a configuration on a computer, like mine here, is opposite, where dragging up moves the page down, and vice versa. This is as if you were dragging the page itself and not the trackpad. Like a real desktop, the visual space of a computer can become unorganized. You can use the trackpad to drag any element on the screen including icons, documents, or pages, to organize your personal space. Just use two taps and don't let go after the last tap. This will grab whichever element you want to move. Then it's as simple as moving your finger and releasing the trackpad when you want to let go.
This same function of tapping twice and holding the last tap can be used to highlight words in a document. Just don't forget to let go of the trackpad when you are finished highlighting. Let's review. When you move the cursor, touch the trackpad lightly like you were drawing in the sand. And when you tap, tap lightly. Double tap to open a document from an icon on the desktop. Use a two finger tap to open an options menu. This is like right clicking with a mouse. Slide two fingers in any direction to scroll or move a page. Double tap and hold the last tap in order to drag an icon or document. Remember to do this by the title. There are more advanced functions of the trackpad that weren't covered in this video. However, with the functions you learned today, you can start controlling your computer with ease.